Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical, bringing you another installment of the coronavirus series. Okay, trying to help you guys out here. Today's topic is the most requested coronavirus topic. I've this is going to be like number seven or somewhere around there of the videos that I've actually filmed in order to try and strengthen and build our community in preparation for the coronavirus and what the future may hold okay i've already got a separate video up on what the future may hold check out my check out my gray man theory videos survival escape and evasion videos but right now i'm going to talk about bugging in and bugging out okay bugging out is just getting out of a situ of a rough situation okay getting out of social unrest or a natural disaster it's simply just that bugging in is what the question that i've very often received recently is bone i'm not planning on bugging out i've got a great bug in set up i'm going to be bugging in bone can you do a video on bugging in okay yes right now i'm doing a video on bugging in bugging in there's no such thing as bugging in doesn't exist okay bugging in is something you guys made up i guess i had never even heard the term it's ridiculous okay stop saying it stop using it it doesn't exist now let me say this you may be a prepper. I don't consider myself a prepper. I'm just a person who has either been very lucky or very unlucky, depending on how you look at it. And I've spent almost my entire life in non-permissive environments. And I've had to survive some really nasty situations and some tough stuff and stuff that really nobody else on YouTube has had to survive. Nobody else that can offer to help others share information on tough situations and non-permissive environments there's really nobody else out there sharing information. So that's why I'm sharing this information. Just trying to help. That's what strength looks like. That's what strong men do is they help other people. That's the definition of strength. Okay. So why is there no such thing as bugging in? Well, bugging out is having to get out of a situation that you've set up for yourself. Okay. We all have certain amenities and a living situation. Okay. I have here is where I film my videos. This is actually my blacksmith shop. Um, it's not where I spend uh, all of my time. It's not where I spend a lot of my time, but it's a uh, it's where I work. Um, as long as I have materials, I'm going to keep building the most effective edged weapons and self defense tools in the world. So as long as I can get the right kind of metals, I've got my shop here. I've got a forge. I've got all that stuff. You guys can see the shop video. I've got some workout equipment here. I come here very early in the morning and work out around like four or five o'clock in the morning and start working out. And then I have some helpers that get here at seven and then we work and, uh, and then we, we leave around 5 p.m. And, and that's six days a week, guys. But let's get right into bugging out and bugging in. Okay, why does bugging in not exist? It doesn't matter how much of an awesome situation you have. You guys have seen my spot in the mountains. I did a video on the ultimate location that you could possibly exist in the best of everything rural environment not a lot of people around food water electricity that doesn't matter doesn't depend on the government food that doesn't depend on the supply chain water that doesn't depend on the government okay all of this stuff if you have all of that it's still possible you would have to bug out it doesn't matter how advanced your facility is so all i'm going to tell you guys is there's no such thing as bugging in you're fortress, your bug out shelter, your home, your end of the world, doomsday bunker, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter if you're in your apartment in downtown New York City, which is probably the worst place in the world that you could possibly be, but it doesn't matter where you are. That can be breached. Okay. What should you do? Okay. Prepare your vehicle. Already have done the video on how to prepare your vehicle. Prepare your vehicle or a vehicle, get a vehicle, I don't know, talk to your friends, make a caravan plan, okay? But no such thing as bugging in means that you have to have a bug out plan, you have to have an exfil plan, you have to have a survival escape and evasion plan. You guys have to have a plan to get the heck out of Dodge if you have to get out of Dodge, so come up with a plan. Pack bags, guys, everything that you need to know is here on this channel. I've got multiple bug out bag videos. I just did a coronavirus bug out bag minimum video. It's doing very well here on the channel. You guys like it a lot. At least pack yourself one backpack with just that stuff in it. I am not a prepper. 
But because I've had to use bug out bags to get out of countries and get out of situations where I was being hunted and wanted, I have multiple bug out bags. You guys have seen the videos of my truck already. Bug out bag videos are here, but I have a large bug out bag that's like an extended stay, has tons of stuff in it. It weighs like 40 pounds right now. It can be loaded up to 80 pounds. It's a really big, huge backpack. It's They're very expensive bags. It's very important that if you're going to load out a really big bag, it's got to be one of the expensive bags, guys. There's no way around it. It really sucks to carry all that weight. Okay, I've done 30 mile rucks with 60, 70 pound packs. It's terrible, guys. It's absolutely terrible. It destroys your feet, it hurts, your traps are sore for a week. Okay, it just sucks. But if you gotta do it, you gotta do it, okay? But you want levels because you're, you know, you might be sick. You might have mild symptoms of the coronavirus and you can't carry your big pack. So you have three levels of packs at least. You've got a 72 hour pack. You've got a scout pack and you've got your big, huge extended stay bag. Got to have those bug out bags packed, guys. Two is one, one is none. I recommend having three. I also recommend having a bunch of everything you can have, guys. Don't hoard stuff. You don't want like a million things of toilet paper, but having three containers of soap and three things of Lysol and three packs of toilet paper, that's not necessarily hoarding, okay, guys? You, you know, three gallons of bleach, three five gallon buckets of water, stuff like that is not hoarding, okay? Some medical supplies, but you don't wanna to have to have six months of supply or a year of supply necessarily, but you wanna have a little bit, guys, okay? All I'm doing with this video is talking about bugging in. There's no such thing as bugging in. You can be prepared, okay? But the only things that you need to be prepared to really think about our fun and, and mental health. So have some books to read, have some, some games, board games, some stuff like that. Be able to educate yourselves and those around you. So if you're a doctor and your friend is a military person, you know, or something has firearms training, they can talk you through firearms handling points. You can, you can, you know, every day one person that has a skill set will meet in your bugging in location and share that knowledge that they have with the rest of the group. The doctor will talk about when people start getting sick, how they're gonna have a, a setup and a situation for that. You want food, okay, you want water, some non-perishable foods would be nice. You definitely want some kind of a water filter. If it has a viral agent, a viral filter, if it can filter out viruses, that's great to have, especially right now. If not, then you can have a regular water filter or a less lower quality water filter and then throw in some water purification tablets to kill the viruses after that. There's lots you can do, guys, but don't go crazy. Just have some of the bare essentials, food, water, the ability to create fire, especially if you're in a cold environment, warm clothing if you're in a cold environment. If not, just comfortable clothing. You know, definitely want to have walking shoes, but shoes that are going to not fall apart, you know, not necessarily basketball shoes, but I wear Asics a lot, but even the Asics, some of them are kind of flimsy. So guys, have a broken in pair of shoes. It's not the time to break in a pair of shoes when you're going to have to walk 30 miles. All stuff to think about, but the main thing is, is no matter how prepared you are in your bugging in location, there's no such thing as bugging in. Have an exfil plan, guys. Okay. Some, have some peace of mind, okay? Have some confidence in your abilities and that I have confidence in my higher power, but whatever you have your confidence in, have your confidence. Don't go out there being a lunatic and losing your mind. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. You know, unfortunately, if you're gonna get coronavirus, you're gonna get it. If you do get it, we don't know how the symptoms are gonna be. You could be one of the mild to moderate symptom persons, people, or you could be one of the severe people that die from it. So, you know, guys, it's this is life. You could get hit by a bus crossing the street tomorrow. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. Continue living your life and bugging in as far as is there things that you can do to, you know, protect your mental health? Yes. Make sure you have means of educating yourself. If you have some books, stuff like that, it'd be awesome. You can still order stuff off Amazon right now, I believe, uh, to your house. So order some books, think about having, you know, some board games, something like that. Also, in order to make money, I'm doing a little deal right now where I'm accepting 
all brand ambassadors. Anybody that wants to make a little bit of extra money, I'm, I'm trying to help you guys out and I'm accepting anybody. So shoot me an email, greg at bonetactical.com. I'll tell you how you can get started and you can make a little bit of money. You can sell some Bone Tactical products. You don't have to buy the products. You don't have to spend any money. You literally have to do absolutely nothing. You can just help me promote these products that are also gonna be saving lives and helping people out in these dire times. And if you get any sales with your code usage, I'll pay you per code use. I have a tracking thing on my website where it tracks everybody that, that uh, has done this and how many sales codes have been used and how many times your sales code has been used. So if you guys are worried about you know, not having that money in the future. I'm trying to do everything I can to help you guys. The, it's a little bit of money, but it's it may not be a whole lot, but it's money that you can make without leaving your house. So stay safe, guys. Limit your contact with the amount of people that you're contacting. Try and stay clean. Try and, you know, cover your face if you're going to be trying, you know, releasing that saliva that contains the virus, potentially could, contains the virus because of the incubation period. Be aware that we don't know how long this virus is actually able to be alive on its own. So when you receive items like Amazon, like we just discussed, or you receive, you know, buy groceries, stuff like any of that stuff could have it on it. Be cleaning with antibacterial soap as much as possible. Bleach and water works. Okay, guys, clean, clean, clean. Be smart, social distancing. Keep distance between yourself and other people and then just don't have contact with people that you don't need to have contact with. So stay safe, guys. I hope this video finds you well. I hope, you know, watch some of my videos. In or as long as we still have internet up and running, my videos, I feel like that they're entertaining. I like watching YouTube videos. I honestly wish that more people were making YouTube videos like I make because I wish I could watch some similar content, but it just, there's not any similar content out there. So I'll spend my time while I'm in quarantine as much as possible, protecting my mental health by helping you guys making these videos. You guys can spend your time watching these videos and it's pretty much all the same thing. Appreciate it guys, thanks for watching. As always, questions and comments below. Tell me what video you wanna see next. This is a, a fan requested video right here. Again, thanks and bone out.